Hello, my fellow comrades. It is Soldier Dugini here, and uh, I'm bringing you guys something different today. So, I'm finally back after quite a while. I had to take a break just from YouTube for a little bit because there was some stuff going on in my life, but thankfully, things have gotten a lot better since then. And uh, I recently stumbled upon a new game thanks to one of my good friends, and I'm kind of addicted to it at the moment. So, the game is called, well, Infection Free Zone. It's a zombie apocalypse uh, base building scavenging game where you, you know, spawn in on a, you know, player selected location and you just build a fort, scavenge for stuff, fight bandits and infected uh, people, and you know, basically just try to survive and do little quests and missions and stuff. So, the one thing that's very unique about this game is that it actually takes real-life locations from Google Maps and, uh, I'm not sure it's Google Maps, but, like, basically, you know, uh, just real locations from real life, and it puts it into the game. So, you can literally play it on any like, real location in the real world in this game. You could play, like, in the middle of Paris with, like, real, like, locations and shops and residences and streets, um, anywhere. And so, as you could probably guess from the video, I have an idea. <laughs> so, before I was playing, like, in some of my, uh, like, places I, was, I used to go to, like, my old town and, like, the new place where I live now, um, and I recently got an idea from who else but my my own mother, and today we're gonna try to basically play IFZ, um, but we're gonna do it in Disney World. More specifically, you know, Disney, Disney World or land in, uh, Orlando, Florida. So... <laughs> I'm gonna know this place like the back of my hand because I've been there so many times over the over the past few years. Um, but yeah, so let's get into this, shall we? So yeah, you literally get to play like anywhere in the real world. Like, there's already some recommended locations here, like uh, Temple in Germany, Cambridge, UK, uh, Croft in the United States, Oakland, USA, and California. A uh, few places in Italy, China. All sorts of places, but today we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to do Magic Kingdom, which is like, you know, the main park in, uh, in, uh, Disney World. Oh boy. Oh my god, yeah, this is it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so yes, this, I gotta figure out where Cinderella's castle, I think that's it right there. So, yeah, we're going to basically just play IFZ, but we're going to be in Disney World. See, here's Orlando, Florida. Pretty big city in uh, Orlando, uh, in, uh, in uh, bleh, Florida. And to the southwest of it is the Disney Parks. Um, where's Epcot? Is that Epcot here? No. There's so many parks. This is Epcot. There's Epcot. Uh, I think this is Hollywood Studios. Or no, is that Hollywood Studios? I don't know. But these are basically all the parks that are here. There's like, uh, there's like Universal Studios 2, uh, a bunch of water parks around here too. But we're going to do the main attraction, which is uh, Magic Kingdom, which is, you know, the main uh, park in Disney's like franchise pretty much. It's got Cinderella's Castle and, uh, well, used to have Splash Mountain, um, Space Mountain, all the, all that stuff. There's even like some resorts along the way, so that's pretty cool but yeah we can literally play anywhere we want there are some limitations on what we can actually do because there's some like sometimes uh there's like some areas like this this orange which means i think it's uh like high population or something like that or it's like not really recommended but um yeah this is what we're gonna do so we're gonna survive in magic kingdom today <laughs> The land, or what's it called? Happiest place on earth? Yeah, um, one of the few places left on earth that's, ha that's habitable. So we're gonna click continue. Um, yeah, we'll keep it on that zone name, infection free zone. Um, 
We'll keep tutorial events on. We'll st we'll just do on medium difficulty for now. So without further ado, let's play. So yeah, this is going to be um quite fun. I I imagine I've been playing this for a little. Bit. I'd say maybe about two three days now, and I've sort of gotten like the basics down of like what to do, how to like build up your base and stuff. Um, and I figured, um, why not make a video about this and, you know, post on YouTube and stuff. And I've also just wanted to take a bit of a break from Arma, you know, Arma 3 for now, because I've just been kind of burnt out and, uh, wanted to just try something new and just throw a little bit of a mix in there, kind of. Um, so I wanted to just give this game a shot since it's, it's quickly, I think, becoming, a a big thing, I suppose. They're the same. It's maybe the same people have made that uh, 911 operator game, which has the same premise. You just pick a city anywhere in the real world, and you can be a 911 dispatcher there, and like you know, call emergencies and stuff. Um, but this version is just well, it's a post-apocalypse. Well, it's still apocalypse, but it's a zombie infected, you know, infested apocalypse. So I'm. I'm already hooked on this game, and it released into early access a few days ago, or at least, you know, at the time making this video. The world as we know it. All right, so here we go. A little backstory. What called the mad virus appeared out of nowhere. It made people turn extremely violent, aggressive, and unrestrainable. Soon later, the infected became bloodthirsty, more like vampires than human. There was chaos, panic. In war for survival. Desperate people were just as dangerous as the virus itself. Even our loved ones could become a threat. The infection spread quickly throughout the entire globe. Every region, every country, every city. Drastic measures were taken to get rid of the infected, but they all failed. The last chance for those who seemed immune was to hide in underground shelters. Ones that we improvised in garages and basements, loaded with food, water, and air filtration systems. These were the places where we survived, sealed from the outside. For so long, we waited for any signal, any info that a cure had been found, and the situation stabilized. Instead, we listened as the world grew quiet. Our resources were becoming depleted. Life support systems were failing. And just as we were losing all hope, we received a distant call. This was the impulse we needed. There were others out there. We could come back to the surface. No more hiding. From the ruins of the old world, we will build our new home. So, yeah, that's the backstory of the outbreak, pretty much. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh the, my god, the monorail station. Oh no. Oh, here's all the bus stations and stuff. Oh my god. Oh, this is freaking weird. What is this? Is this the... Wait. Is this what I think it is? Don't tell me. Oh my god. That's what it is. It's the, the contemporary resort. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What did they do to this building? <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh no! So uh, I oh huh? What what happened? Oh no! I don't even know how to respond to that. That's horrible. Oh no! And then this is the this is the other section of the Contemporary Resort, which is where I think the first time I went to Disney. That's where we stayed, and uh. Oh my god. Whispering Canyon Cafe. Sturdy Branches Health Club. 
Uh, and then over here is, uh, this is the way you go to, uh, Magic Kingdom from the other side of the lake. You take, like, a little ferry, and it goes right here. And then it, yeah, it goes into the park. I don't want to look at, like, the center of the park just yet. Um, here's another, yeah, the Grand Floridian Resort. Um, I think over here is actually where my family, uh, or my parents got married. And I think, oh my god, this is it right here. Um, I think these buildings are new. That's kind of funny. Like apartment buildings built up on the water. Um, they're like, like little, um, like suites you can buy on the water. But before, they, these weren't here. And my parents got married right here on the edge. And like looking over the pond, you could see like the park and stuff. Oh my god, that's so weird. But yeah, there's the flirting resort... There's like guest areas. Uh, no, not that. And there's like the, the freaking massive parking lots. Look at all the cars! Holy cow, I mean, that's that's accurate. Freaking Disney parking lots are filled to the brim half the time. Or almost all the time. God, these roads are so wonky. Because they, they're supposed to be like parking lots, but they recognize them as like actual streets. Oh, here's like the trams and stuff. Oh my god. This is so weird. But yeah, like... So this is the... This is the monorail station, I think. And then these monorails go out and they go to different parts. I think this goes to Epcot, this train line. That goes to the Epcot park. This one goes up to the... The Butchered Contemporary Resort. And then this rail line goes over here, connects to the monorail station at... Monorail station at, uh, Magic Kingdom. And then it wraps back around to the Floridian, and then it comes back down to, uh, here. Holy cow, what did they do? <laughs> so, there's this lake here, and then let's go actually check out the inside of the park. So this is, uh, I forgot what this is called. What section of the park is this called? It's like American Avenue? It's like Main Street, yeah. Or the Town Square. Oh my god, that's so freaking crazy. They have, like, parades that go through here. Oh my god. Please tell me that the... <laughs> that's Cinderella's castle! What is that?! Oh my god, that's Cinderella's castle! What?! Oh my god, that's freaking beautiful! Oh, oh, look at how big this freaking park is. Merchant of Venus. This is, uh, this is Tomorrowland over here. Oh my god, yeah, because this is the Astro Orb, or this is the, yeah, it's a ride. This is the, the People Mover. It's like a monorail that goes around Tomorrowland, like this part of the park. Look at all the different buildings that are here. Where's, uh, <gasps> this is Space Mountain. This is Space Mountain right here, the big... Right? The Space Mountain? This is that. Yeah. Yeah, this is the Space Mountain. <gasps> the Tomorrowland Speedway! Oh my god, I remember that place. I loved that place when I was a kid. It's like a little goat or not like a go-kart place. You're on a track, but you're like in a car that's connected to the road. You just go around, you just do loops around the racetrack. That's so freaking cool. Um This is what's this? <gasps> These are the teacup rides! Oh my god, the, fr <laughs> the freaking teacup rides are now like circular apartment buildings. Uh, or no, is this? Oh, I don't know what it, I think, yeah, I think these are the teacup rides. That, I don't know what that is. 100 acre goods. This is a, this is like a big shopping area. I like how the hexes are still on the roof. I think that is actually how the roof looks on that building. Or, here, let me take a look, quick look real quick. Yeah! That's exactly how it looks on Google Maps. Like, the hexes that are on the roof. Oh my god. That's Cinderella's castle. That's gonna be our headquarters, of course. Um, there's buildings, like, all next to it. Chase? <laughs> Wait, what? Why is it just called Chase? Chase Bank? Intro Village House? Um, is this... Is that Small World? I think that's Small World, right? I think it is. That's one of my, uh, one of my brother's, like, favorite rides is Small World. 
Um. Oh, that's the haunted mansion. Right? Is that the haunted mansion? I think it is. Yeah, because this is the this is like the covered uh walkway that goes up to it. That's the freaking haunted mansion. Oh my god. Sleepy Hollow. Uh, this is the Hall of Presidents, I think. It's like a little ride where you just go. Or no, is that is was that the Hall of Presidents? Well, it's gone now. If it is. Oh my god, this freaking park is massive. We are, we are so taking over the entire park. That that is like the end goal. If we have nothing else to do, we are taking over the entire park, and no one can stop me. Um, this is like a carousel ride right here, I believe. All sorts of rides back here. Um, no, oh, frick, not that. I keep clicking on buildings. Um, man, it's been a while since I've been to Magic Kingdom, but um, man, there's so much here. I don't know. There's actually like fences and stuff. That's so cool. Oh, like, they even recognize there's, like, a statue here. Because in real life, there's, like, a Walt Disney statue, like, holding Mickey Mouse. But I think it's, like, a... What is that? Like, an angel or something? That's so cool. It's not exactly accurate, but oh, my God. I like how this is kind of, like, flooded, honestly. It's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, because these are actually bridges. These are bridges that go over the water or the moat. But the game doesn't recognize it's a bridge because there isn't, like... Again, this game is still in, like, very early access, so there's still a lot of stuff that needs to be done, but oh my god, this is freaking crazy. Wow. This, this is a trip. Anyway, so, yeah, let's actually do this now. We're gonna... <laughs> I still love all that Cinderella's castle. It's just, like, a bunch of, like, weirdly shaped buildings. But you know what? I'm glad it's actually like this and not like a big weird building, like a big boxy building. You know what? This is not bad. This is this is actually hilarious. But oh, these are the towers. I forgot. These are the towers that are in front of it. Like the guard towers. Oh my god. These are probably like concession stands or something. Wow. All right. So we're going to choose Cinderella's Castle as our starting point. Let's start. Oh, this is getting extremely large and will be very hard to defend in the first days. We recommend choosing a smaller building. Nah. And here we are. Operator, this is first squad leader. We made our way out. The neighborhood looks deserted. <laughs> the neighborhood. The nearby buildings for any useful resources. The freaking neighborhood. Okay. Find something to eat as fast as possible. This is every Disney fan's like dream is being able to live in <laughs> live in uh one of the Disney parks. However, I don't think this is what they had in mind by living in the park um during a apocalypse. So we need to basically start recruiting some squads. And we need to start going out and gathering some resources pretty much. Can we salvage these? Oh, okay, no. Are they wooden? No, but we can't salvage these trees that are out here. Oh, I like how they're all like dead and stuff too. That's so cool. So we're gonna need some metal. Oh yeah, there's street lamps, right. So we're gonna get all these people to start salvaging uh, these pieces. And then we're gonna start, um, you know, converting these buildings into our compound. See, so yeah, we're really gonna start getting people to go around the park and start looting everything. Oh, wait, so the... Is that the entrance into Cinderella's castle is the rear? Like over here? Okay. Okay. There's like storefronts and stuff here. So this is... Yeah. Cinderella's castle. Sir... Sir Mickey's? Oh my god. Castle culture. Princess Fert... Oh, I remember going there one time to see like a play. Fair's Nook. 100 Acre Goods. Just for Cafe, Merchant of Venus. That's going to have some good freaking stuff in it because that's a big uh, restaurant area. Like, I think this whole area is like a restaurant and shop area. Um, Like, am I right about this? Roof. There's nothing left. Hall of, yeah, this is it. The Hall of Presidents. Oh, my God. Columbia. Wait, wait. It's a small world. Oh, my God. It's actually here. Haunted Mansion. Yes. Oh, my God. That's so freaking cool. Wow, okay, so yeah, this is freaking nuts. So, um, yeah, so we gotta, we gotta send people out to go find, uh, 
Oh, excuse me. We gotta find resources and uh, stuff in these buildings. For example, <laughs> we found ammunition crates sitting at Cinderella's castle stage. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna just tell these guys to go depot everything inside Cinderella's castle. <laughs> Never thought I'd say those words in my life. Um, yeah, this is the Prince Charming Regal Carousel. Oh my God. What happened to this place? Um, oh yeah, so there's also a button we can click on V, which, oh. Sir, the crates are in the HQ. We have to think what to scavenge first. It will be best to check some shops on my way. or warehouses. On my way. All right. Okay, I'll point you where to go. Oh, no transmission. Chief, I will speak on behalf of the other citizens. Let us go and adapt the buildings to suitable shelters, so we won't spend a single more night underground. Okay. We're on the move. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. All right, so we got to adapt some buildings into shelters. So, basically, all the people that are basically in our bunker, <laughs> but beneath Cinderella's castle. Um, actually, that's true because there is like tunnels that go underneath some of these parks. Um, um, but yeah, these. Uh, people need to actually go out and live in buildings, you know, so they actually, um, you know, don't spend another night inside of a bunker. So we need to go to this section and build a shelter. Oh, man. Um, all right, so perfect. This will be our living quarters. <laughs> Everyone's going to live on the, the Cinderella's Castle stage, even though it's like a three-story apartment building in this game. <laughs> God, look at all the windows on the castle. They're all boarded up. Oh, my God. All right, so we're basically just going to send these guys out and loot all these buildings. But these classify as buildings? What the? Or I guess they could just be, like, places of loot. Not, like, actual buildings, but just, like, you know, places we can loot. Mickey's Magic. Fantasy Fair. Peter Pan's Flight! Yeah! Columbia Harbor House. Drinking water. The Haunted Mansion. Oh, what kind of stuff are we going to find in the Haunted Mansion? I know for dang sure we're not going to find any guns in here. Because not even I don't even think uh, Disney security are armed with guns. Maybe they are, maybe, maybe they aren't, but... Last time I checked, I don't think they are. Um, so, yeah, let's just get everyone to just, just start looting places. Look this area. Look at these guys to start looting the uh, the center of the park. Oh yeah, these are like the freaking popcorn stands. Oh my god. This game is just, it's impressive. Like, I'm sure the amount of effort that went into making this is like obscene. So, hats off to the developers that made this, because this is just amazing. And this, again, it's only, an, it's just an early alpha, so... Um, early beta, yeah. So, there's gonna be plenty of changes made to this game. Um, and I'm honestly just really excited to see, uh, you know, what else there's gonna be in this game. Oh, so the entrance into this building is through that building? Okay. So, we need to build shelters for our guys, and pretty soon, the zombies or the infected are gonna come. And, um... They are basically, like, not normal zombies. They're actually more similar to, like, the zombies from, uh, what's the movie with Will Smith and Apocalypse? Uh, I don't care, remember. But yeah, they're basically just, like, they only come out during the night. Sir? Yeah. The sun is getting low. We don't know what's going to happen during the night. We can continue our scavenging operations in the dark, but that will be way more dangerous than waiting until sunrise. Yeah. Continue. On. We need those resources. Sir, it is too dangerous for unarmed civilians to work after nightfall. Yeah, these guys. Will return home. So yeah. Okay. After uh, so, after the sun goes down, all the workers, all the unarmed workers, are gonna, <laughs> are gonna take shelter in Cinderella's castle. <laughs> all right. So actually, yeah. Before we continue, before the zombies hit. We got a bunch of uh, panels here. We got objectives. We got our research area that'll come in play later. A weather forecast to actually tell us um, 
you know, the weather of the area, the temperature, yeah, 90 degrees Fahrenheit, that's about right. In the middle of, what, April? Yeah, that's not too far off. <laughs> um, so, God, yeah, I don't even know what to say. Um, yeah, like, there's a lot of stuff in this game, trust me. Oh, police areas. Textile services? ITA Data Center, Disney Information Services Center. Okay, so there's police areas to the north. Or stuff we can may find weapons. And that might come in handy. Wait, there's police equipment at the spa? Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's do this, I guess. Alright, so our guys are still looting for a bit. But the sun's going down, so zombies are about to, about to start coming out. We're gonna send our guys back into the, uh, the headquarters and get ready for this, uh, for the night. Oh. What? Coming out of a building. I think there might be some people there. I recommend you go and investigate. There's smoke coming out of the top of Space Mountain. Oh my God. Let's left. investigate. Yeah, let's go check that out, maybe. <laughs> So, yeah, the night's coming, and, well, the zombies are going to start coming out pretty soon. We're going to get our guys to keep looting and stuff, because we do need the loot, and they can hold their own in case some zombies come, but it's a large horde. We might need to take control of them and get them in a safe place. So, I guess when it comes morning, we're going <laughs> to... We're going to have to go investigate Space Mountain, and because there's smoke coming out the top of it. <laughs> God, that's so freaking... So freaking weird. Receiving. We're on the move. Man. Yeah, so we're just gonna keep looting. There's some ammo in there. Operator. They're gonna loot the towers and stuff, see if they can't find anything. Search done. Oh, we got an incoming transmission. Whew. Yep. Hey, sir, we just saw a group of infected. They might not be aware of our presence here. Here they are. I right, get ready. Get ready to fight. Whoa. They're literally going through freaking Disney World. This is like... This is freaking nuts. I, I honestly can't get over the fact just how... Just how crazy this game is. And this is the beginning. Um, I'm not sure how long I'm going to go for. But... Like in terms of time. But... I think we're at least going to... Go progress a few days, get the basics down, and then I'll cut it there and maybe continue another day. Holy cow. Alright, these so guys are still looting. These guys are still looting through... What building is this? Mickey's... On my way. Um... There's nothing left. Yeah, there's a... A lot of places to loot here, that's for sure. A lot of big places, too. Because, so, these big buildings like this, um, they actually do take a way longer to loot, which is why these guys are still in here for quite a while. Um, they take forever to loot, however, they usually are packed with stuff, so... We should be pretty good. There's a bunch of infected around, though. Gotta be careful. Oh, so there's, like, maintenance buildings back here. Ah. I see. Okay. Under the sea, Journey of the Little Mermaid. I guess the little freaking mermaid ride. Wow. Yeah, everyone's still looting. Uh, tell me to go grab that ammo real quick. <laughs> Maybe we should go loot the Hall of Presidents. <laughs> um, why don't you go tell them to go loot these restaurants? Because we do need some uh, food up in here. Reporting. They're like just halfway done looting this uh, do place. So send a squad to go find the source of the smoke. So we're going to go send a team out and go investigate that smoke column in Space Mountain. The work ain't gonna wait for us. Let's get to it. On my way. Can we even On enter the way. freaking... We can even enter the... Um, the people mover, uh, thing. My god. Roger. 
Receiving. Right, so looting that place. Diamond horseshoe. Oh, Frontier Lane shooting arcade! Oh my god, I remember that place. This night was easy. There are sure to be some infected around here. We should build some defenses before the next night falls. Agreed. All right. Let's build a wooden tower. All right, so yeah, we're gonna have to build uh, defenses pretty soon because the nights are only gonna get harder and harder and harder. So we need to hurry and build up while we can. Sometimes we'll get easy, we'll like get easy nights, so it's like you know manageable. Um, oh, this is the new Tron ride, huh? Okay. Um, but yeah, the nights are gonna get harder and harder uh, as it goes on. So we need to just yeah fortify what we can, and you know, just get. Get what we can done before crap really hits the fan. All right, so they're finally done looting that place. Oh, all right. We found some survivors. They've been living in terrible conditions for the last few years. We could bring them in, but will we be able to feed them? These guys have had access to, to Space Mountain for over like ten years. Holy cow! We're gonna accept them. So was it, uh, five, five people have been living out in Spaceship Mountain. We're on the move. Poor, poor souls. So we're gonna send them, uh, back to our camp. We're on the so then they should be able to join us and, you know, help us out. Ready for action. We're on right, the move. So we're gonna keep sending these guys out and getting Reporting. stuff. Reporting. Um... Put this guy to loot these buildings. Oh no, yeah, so yeah, these are the teacups, the tea party ride. Oh my god. And then this is this is uh Dumbo the Flying Elephant. I scored that out. This is the Dumbo ride. What is this? Uh Fantasy Land Station. Oh yeah, this is like a water park right here. Right! Casey Jr. Railroad Where did it tell? Yeah, this is like a little playground or something right here. Seven, seven Dwarfs Mine Train! It's supposed, this is supposed to be like a mountain, but it's just, you know, apartment building. <laughs> oh, Pirates of the Caribbean! Oh my god. What's this? Shop or restaurant? Oh, okay. Parade Storage North. Oh, so you can find all sorts of stuff in there. Cool, cool. Right, we're gonna keep looking around for good loot. We're on the move. Let's uh, try to clear out these big buildings. On my way. Uh, let's get more people to help build that place real quick. Actually, no. We need to build... Actually, yeah. It's about to turn nighttime, so we might as well. We're on the for action. Yeah, so nighttime's coming. Going there. Waiting orders. Right, we'll have at least one team to go out and just still loot. Yeah, again, we need, we need as much loot as we can get. Oh, we got a horde coming in. I think it's somewhere in the east. Oh, no, north. Yeah, so these infected uh, all come out during the night time, so... We gotta hold the fort during the night and loot during the day. And sometimes it'll be... Oh, wrong thing. Sometimes it'll be different, like with the weather broadcast. Or forecast. So sometimes it'll be like a full moon. Which will, uh, I guess, be enough light for the zombies to not come out during the night time. So we have, like, more time to uh, loot. And sometimes it'll be, like, thunderstorms. Which, since we're in Florida, that should be, like, a daily occurrence. Which we might we might be screwed. Um, but, yeah. Thunderstorms will also block out the sun, which will help the zombies, like, come out during the daytime. Which is not good at all. And, yeah, if we click on the, the horde... Oh! Here they come. Get ready, boys. Okay. Get ready to defend the zone. Here they come. Okay, they're coming right for the castle. Hold them off, hold them off. Operator. Defend the castle, lads. Cinderella up in her tower is still asleep. We gotta Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. No 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 get out of here! No 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 no. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Okay. I forgot, the zombies are a bit faster than the survivors. Okay. 
Some of them got a bit injured, but they're okay. Take a few days to recover. Going there. Oh frick, another big horde. Let's do it. Operator. Going there. Alright, let's stay in the tower. Yeah, I think it's because this this moat is uh blocking some of our guys from crossing over. Another one incoming. Yeah, more hordes coming in. Zombies there. Well, I'm not sure if they're like zombies, but I know they're like infected with like the yeah the mad virus, whatever it is. So they're technically still human. They're just you know completely insane and like bloodthirsty, pretty much. And they're they're tough. There's just more of them coming. Come on, get them, boys. Oh, they're trying to get in. Oh, they're just kind of sitting there. All right, they're just getting shot to pieces. All right, we're going to make time go a bit faster. Just going to last through the night. More hordes. That horde sees us. Alright, we got him. Alright, daytime's coming up in about an hour. Alright, we're good. Alright, let's begin looting again. Wait a minute. That's the river This goes around like the whole pond. What do they do? Wait. Oh, is this Tom Sawyer's Island? Hawk's Landing? Tom's Landing! Yeah, this is freaking Tom Sawyer Island. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, we got a car! Sir, we just found a car that looks drivable. Let's try to make a run again. Uh, bad thing is this. Wait, how is it on that side of the river? Uh, hopefully we can even get that across the water. Um. <laughs> Uh, nonetheless, go over there and see if you can investigate it. We can... Oh. Alright, we adapted a building. So now we have a, somewhat of a place for most of our people to stay now. Uh, create a new squad. Maybe not yet. Um, We do need to build some defenses. So we're going to... How much do we have in, like, wood? Okay, let's build... Let's build some metal fences. Wait, can we build it? Oh. Okay. Maybe this spot was not a good idea. This is the infection free zone. Please respond. To all hosts. The infection is in the seek a host and rebuild. Yeah, it's just like a repeated message. Chief, this is the same transmission we received before, but the signal is even weaker. Our walkie-talkies are not powerful enough for long-range communication. We have to build a large antenna. A local library or university would be a good place to search for information on how to make it work. So yeah, we actually have to go out and find, like, notebooks to find- Whoa! Are you kidding me?! It's all across the freaking river! And we can run over the infected if they get too close. Uh... Operator. Um, yeah, guys, I don't think... Oh, no, we can't get the car across the water! It's stuck on Tom Sawyer's Island, or wherever this is. No! We can't get the car! No! Oh, that sucks! No! God dang it. Alright, we're gonna have to just... We're gonna have to just take the freaking car... Or, you know, we're, on the move. we're gonna have to just leave the car there. Man, that sucks! Out, out of all the places it could have spawned, freaking spawned on Tom Sawyer's Island. Wow. That's horrible. But yeah, so, 
The bad thing is that there's so many of these ponds and stuff around that our, our cars can't get across them. So... Oh, man. Chief, many of our workers don't have any jobs. Send them to gather resources to construct or to work at some of the buildings. All right, yeah. So... We're gonna see. Let's pause real quick. We need to build some metal entrances into our... <laughs> our compound. <laughs> So let's have a big metal gate uh, being at the front of, you know, the area. Let's put that there. We're going to have some metal fences or walls. Um, that should be good. We'll connect them to these big uh, guard towers that are here in real life. Do that. And the thing is, I don't know what we're going to do about the freaking castle itself because we can't put walls around it because this water is here. We're basically going to have to just make, like, many different compounds, I suppose? Uh, I don't know. This is going to this is gonna be very interesting. But so I guess we'll just have... Oh, man. I This might have been a bad idea. <laughs> if, um... If actually, if any of you guys have any suggestions of where I should try to build a safe zone and stuff, like try to survive, like in the real world, just let me know. Uh, I would recommend doing your own house or your address because, well, putting where you live is always not a bad, bad idea. Wait, no, it is a bad idea. What am I talking about? It's always a bad idea to put your address out there on the internet. Um, so yeah, don't, don't, don't do that. Um, but just give me like a suggestion of where you guys would like me to try. Like, maybe, uh, I don't know, like, right in the middle of your city. I've contemplated going in the middle of Orlando, which is where I actually, like, live. Um, you know, like, yeah, just, like, this dead center of Orlando, like, all the big buildings and stuff. But, um, my mom just recommended me to do, recommended me to do this instead. And I was like, that's freaking genius. So, we're doing this for now, unless things go south or, like, this, you know, my save gets wiped or something. But, we shall see, we shall see. Um, I guess we'll just go loot more. Let's go check out the Hall of Presidents, see what we kind of find in there. <laughs> maybe some guns, maybe some old flintlocks, who knows. Let's do metal fence. Make it... Oh, man, this is gonna suck. I mean... Because this... Wait. Oh. Never mind. Okay. So... Okay, we're gonna not do that. Cancel this. And let's see if we can just build this wall coming off of here. Oh, is there a second ago? Where did it go? Come on, don't do this to me, game. Yes! Okay. So we'll do this. This is the main gate into our area. I guess we can kind of use this as like our parking area if we get more cars. Um, please tell me that I can build a, another fence over here. Please, please, please tell me. Uh, oh. Okay. That'll work. Then I can move it... Like so. And we'll just connect it right there to the... Fairy Tale Hall. And then we can probably make another entrance on this side. Because, you know, we have like, at least two entrances where we can go in and out. So, okay, this is costing a lot of metal, so that's like six, four, five, six, seven. How much metal do we have? I think we might have enough. Let's just have a, a wooden gate to the south. Ooh, okay. A uh, wooden gate. Right there. That should be good. All right, so we're getting a little bit of a compound down. So we're going to fortify... Um, yeah, we're going to fortify basically everything around the, t the castle. But these buildings should be, um, like, uh, convertible. Not <laughs> convertible. Um, adaptable, that's the word. So we can turn them into, like, shelters or warehouses. That would be perfect for a warehouse because, oh my god, look at how much room we could have in there. Oh, these guys are just crossing the water. But yeah, um... Dang, that sucks. Yeah, this water's just being like a big barrier. The good thing is, though, the zombies could also be affected by it. So, 
that's also good. Is that at least the zombies will be affected by this as well, but... Yeah. I'm gonna chopping down trees around the center. In there, you guys go here. Oh! Perfect. That's good. We can use a quiet night. All right, yeah. So it's a full moon tonight, so we can actually go out and explore and stuff, because the zombies will actually, you know, melt. Okay, so not melt, but like burn if uh, they come out during daytime or during a full moon. So perfect. We got to use this, uh, use this while we can. Bad thing is that you know our guys don't actually build during the nighttime. Uh, when you get people to start doing their jobs and build a compound. On my way. All right, so that would be good. All right, so we just gotta make sure we actually have all the resources to build all this, which uh, we might. Maybe. At least most of it. On my oh. Chief, oh. We found some seeds in one of the buildings. Looks like grain. Search done. There were some farming tools as well. They just got farm equipment in this little house. Okay. Okay. Bring that in. We should have a place where we can cook meals for our citizens. This will make our people much happier too. Let's do it. Okay. Let's build a cookhouse. So yeah, we also have to go send a squad out to go get those technical notebooks so we can grab like a radio tower blueprint, pretty much. Car wreckages can be a good source, or we can deconstruct some buildings. Send workers to do that. All right. Let's go there. All right, we got to get more metal, so we can go out and send these people to go out and just just take down some of these buildings that are around, and we can get some metal out of that. Um, oh, there's no workers though. Uh, so yeah, are we like yeah, we're out of metal. Um, we're okay on wood. Almost done building that. We just gotta get people to go out there and uh bulldoze these little popcorn stands. <laughs> Max. We finished construction. Got some more tools and stuff in there. Going there. Man, there's so many places to loot. Going there. Alright. We need more metal. Building work done. Uh we can probably like Tell them to deconstruct something like pretty big, maybe like a big building. Let's uh, let's let me get rid of uh the Liberty Square Portrait Gallery. So that should get rid. That should get some uh, some bricks and whatnot. We're gonna have to go out there and try to find another car, one that isn't deserted on a freaking island. How, how did this? How did this car even get over here? <laughs> Has it just been there like this whole time? Like. Even before the apocalypse, it's just been there for like 20 years. <laughs> Some old 1980s Honda Civic that's just sitting there in the middle of the island. No one ever knew about it. So the one cool thing is that these buildings right here, they're connected from like these outer buildings. So we can technically uh, build them like this and the main entrance won't be out here in the middle of the street, which is perfect because that's usually where bandits or like zombies try to get through as the main entrance. Perfect. Oh, we got the southern wall finished, too! Alright, so that's done. We got some people working on this. We need to just need to get more metal so we can finish the compound. I guess when we finish the compound, I might call it quits for today. Um... Operator. Let's do it. I gotta grab all the stuff that's in here still. So I'm gonna go back there a second time. That. Go back. Okay. Everyone's just looting. Well, I found some decent stuff. Fuel, ammunition. We're doing pretty good on food for now. So, where did I see that? Oh, yeah. So, one crate of canned food or food ration is consumed by four citizens each day. Your food, your current food supply will last for five days. So, yeah. It actually gives us the math on, like, how long our food supply will last. So, we're actually pretty good at the moment. We don't technically have to go out and go get some more food, but it's always good to have, you know, at least one, like team to go out there and get more food because you know 
You can never have enough food, I suppose. Going there. We got a lot of places to explore. That's for dang sure. Lots of places. On my way. Oh, it's nighttime now. Here come the hordes. Waiting orders. Turn it off. So we got a few missions we got to do. Collect more metal. We got to build some fields and then build a cookhouse. Actually, we're going to clear some more land for these uh, buildings. Any, like, metal we can gather over, over here? Probably not. Yeah, nothing much. Okay. Oh, there's a horde just outside. Hold on, you guys take a position. Alright, so they're able to shoot over and uh, kill this horde. Trying to get through the main gate, but uh, thankfully our walls made out of metal, so they won't get through anytime soon. They do, they do, uh, do damage to it right here, but they're not doing too much at the moment. The door won't hold much longer. Okay, I just now realized. Um, I forgot to. Oh, frick me! Don't go back in. Okay, there is a lot of guys over here. Hold the fort, hold the fort. I'll hold that thought, what I was gonna say. I somehow got in. I'm not sure how they got in, but they did. That's kind of concerning. Another horde. Hey, they found another handgun, cool. Some more zombies coming in. So how are they getting through? Okay, they can't get through that time. No, 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 stay in the building. Okay, it's like, no, stay in. All right, here comes morning. So we're on day, day five now, pretty much. All right, daytime. And we gotta go out and try to get some more supplies fast. All right, where should we go loot? I think, let's try to go, uh... Where can we probably find, like, a car? You know what? Screw it. Let's just send these guys up north and just see if they can try to, you know, try to loot these police areas. Um, maybe even find a car. Sir, the people have reported hearing a lot of noises coming from underground. Ooh. They're afraid that it could be infected moving through the sewers and tunnels. We need to bolster our defenses and be ready to attack from within, too. Now let's prepare. We'll be ready. Reporting. That's actually kind of accurate with Disney, because again, there's this freaking like tunnels and stuff underneath the freaking Disney parks. Why? Uh, service apparently, and like transporting, but I don't know for sure. Like we need, we need some vehicles, because this freaking car over here ain't gonna be much help, because it's just on the other side of the water. Um. Alright, we're sort of almost done with the compound. We just gotta get more metal. We have, like, literally none in reserve. Yeah, we're, we're literally just ripping... Oh! We got some other survivors by the looks of it. Waiting orders. Let's go investigate. Where are these buildings are back here? Oh! God, I didn't know that thing was so big! Oh, people, come back here. I want to talk with you. Please talk. I want to talk to you. All right, there we go. Sir, we've encountered a group of people willing to join us. <laughs> from where they were running away from us, I think they had nothing to do with us. I think they wanted to run away from us where they wanted to join us. But okay. Send them in. All right, send them in. And Going let's send these guys over here to go search these uh, buildings for some weapons and gear. We got something done. Oh, I think it's getting the metal right. Look at this. This is this is new Disney World. 
Chief, we found some medical supplies. Hey. They'll definitely come in handy. Now we'll be able to give first aid to the wounded. But if we want to heal people more efficiently, we'll need to build a med bay. All right. Understood. That sounds like a good idea. We'll think of that. Ah, man, we got to get a freaking vehicle. Everyone's still going getting to work. All right, we have almost enough metal to finish this, but I don't think we're having enough to Yep, seal it off. Yeah, they're all they're already done. Uh, all right, they found a handgun, some ammunition. Please, let there be a freaking car. Oh, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be nighttime very soon, so I hope these guys can hold their own in case some zombies come. The good thing is the zombies don't actually know they're here, like uh, in the building, unless they like go inside it. Sir, we oh. found a trail nearby. It looked as if a huge crowd had run and trampled everything in their way. <laughs> Must have been hundreds. Have you heard anything? Last night we could hear howls, as if crowds of monsters were shouting and wailing. I think something really big is coming our way. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, we're not gonna freaking track those footprints. Thanks, nope. We'll be ready. Nope. 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 No freaking way. Alright, night time's coming. Alright, you know, get these guys back in the base. Better hurry. Okay, looks like those refugees are taking cover in one of the, uh... One of these uh, attractions over here. Alright, let's just skip time a bit. Or fast forward time. Oh! We're running out of resources. Oh, they got injured. Frick, there must be a horde over there. That's not good. Building clear. No, 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 no. Just stay in the buildings. So it's three handguns, 12 crates of ammunition. On my way. All right, just keep going, keep going. Yeah, for now, it's going to be little interesting while we try to find a way to quickly get stuff. Oh! Oh god. Engage. Shoot them down. Yep, here comes a bunch of freaking dogs. See those things about it earlier? Yeah, there's not only freaking um humans, there's infected puppies. Very angry, vicious, wanting to rip my arm off looking puppies. Coming around to the front. Come on, guys, hold them off, hold them off. Going there. Oh no. No, 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 don't you dare. Get him, get him, get him. Alright. Good thing is, I think they're a bit weaker than normal zombies. It's just that they're a lot faster and they can do a bit more damage because, you know, dogs. Another word by the Haunted Mansion. Memento. Memento Mori. Columbia Harbor House. What's these guys found? More ammo. Gotta find another car. I think our best bit might be over here, like in this parking lot. Also, yeah. Look at how large the parking lot is for, like, the... Um... Like, this section of the parking... Look at the size of this parking lot. It's freaking insane. Absolutely insane. Alright, we... We have got to find some, like... You know... Stuff and fast. Send them there. Uh... You know, something go check out the parking lot over here. If they can't find anything, just double time it back to the base. Ready. You know, let's at least guys just go look around. Let's do we it. have got to find a car. On my way. Roger. Please, please, please let's let there be it. a car somewhere in here. 
Ah. A wreck. Check the highway at least. Going there. Where is this two lane road? Oh, there's some people. On my way. Let's see if they want to join us, maybe. Let's do it. We're on the move. Stay still, guys. There you go. Sir, we've encountered a group of people willing to join us. All right, send them in. Send them in. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just keep looking around for a freaking car. Move. Man, they didn't even find a car over here either. Oh my god. Not good, not good. Oh god, and this bridge is out over here. Ooh, that's not good at all. Ready for action. Frick, it's gonna be nighttime soon. Alright, everyone back in the base. Quick. Everyone get in back. All squads, return the base. Let's do it. Going there. Not good, not good, not good. Oh, frick! Kill him, shoot him! Try to do something! Oh, frick, they might die. Okay, they killed him. They lost the guy, though, they lost one. Just run, 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 run. Or hide somewhere, at least. Same with you guys. You gotta, you gotta find shelter fast. Going there. Oh, this is bad. Operator. All right, they're running back to the headquarters. We're on the move. Yeah, frick, they lost a dude. There's ammunition in there. Let's hurry and get back. Still need to find another car. Uh, we'll have to check maybe back here? Like in the storage areas, I suppose? No zombies. We're infected. Waiting orders. Operator. Waiting orders. Yeah, these guys took a pretty bad beating, though. Yikes. Reporting. That's our first casualty. There are some around here. I don't even know what their name was. Alright. That was stupid. <laughs> Alright, we got some more people coming in. Alright, so, yeah, one citizen died since living in two poor conditions. Okay. Um... I guess let's just, yeah, just continue looting, at least. Alright, so, I think we're gonna survive this last day, and I think that'll be it for this episode. Let's go... I don't know... Check out the Starbucks on Main Street, I suppose. Oh. Operator, we found something oh. suspicious. There's a large piece of dried meat here with a piece of rope around it. It's attached to a counterweight. This seems to be a trap to catch something. Maybe humans, maybe animals, or maybe even the infected. Somebody must have set it up not too long ago. Ah, uh, well. Check it out. Make sure it's disarmed and try to find out more about it. Okay. A bit odd. Oh, there's some more people. Not a car, but we'll we'll check them out. Going there. We're on the move. There you go. Sir, we've encountered a group of people willing to join us. Going there. Alright, call him in. Them in. Yeah, so let's just keep going through this day and I think we'll take a little bit of a break. We're running out of space 
for resources. We have to build a warehouse. Oh yeah. All right, let's build it. Okay, we'll build one. All right, well, we'll adapt the building into a warehouse. Uh, which one should we do? Oh my God, eight thousand storage capacity, but we need two hundred twenty-three wood. Uh, let's just start off small. We'll take over the Hall of Presidents and turn it into a, uh, a warehouse. Wow. All right, so those people, uh, those people got into the compound at least. All right, then here comes that four-man team. And they're going to take cover too. All right, here we go. Another night, another night we got to hold out on. We do need to repair this northern gate. Uh oh. That don't sound good. Chief, did you hear that? There must be hundreds of them. I have a bad feeling about this. Incoming. Okay. Get ready to defend the zone. Um Yeah, there's these things called swarms. Uh, yeah, basically giant horde mode. Sometimes they're pretty bad, sometimes no one shows up at all. So let's just hope it's a, we get lucky on this one. Alright, it's almost midnight. Frick, here they come. Oh my god. 40 infected just sitting right there. Okay, these guys better get in this building. Oh, frick, here they come. Alright, light them up, boys, light them up. So when we get through. Oh no, they're chewing away at that gate. Oh, they're in. I'm trying to get into the headquarters, but it's okay. Hold them off, hold them off. All right, those guys are dead. All right. We're doing okay, we're doing okay. All right, so, almost morning, almost morning. Man, that was 40 zombies right there. They got in. They kind of damaged the headquarters, but we're okay. Nothing we can't hold, nothing we can't manage. Hostiles inbound. Oh, frick, there's more of them! <gasps> That's a lot! 10, 8, 9, 11, like 38, is that? 38? Oh, they're up on the front? Oh, frick, they might be going around the front. We're on the move. Yeah, it looks like it, okay. God, they're actually being smart. Um. Okay, you guys get in that building. And I should be able to fire out at them, yeah. Perfect. Alright, brace guys, here we go. Big hoarding coming. Ooh, they might get through. Oh, yeah, they did get through, they did get through. Oh, frick, they're in. Oh, they're in. Get them, guys, get them. Another horde. Okay, we have got to figure out why they're getting through somehow. Oh, it's these freaking, like, cracks around the side. Okay. Here, we'll go ahead and just designate them to, you know, fortify that. Okay, that was a little... That kind of went south for a bit. Alright, there they go. They're retreating. We're running out of stock. Alright, that one went... That one went almost south. Boss, it's been a rough night. Something must have made the infected extremely bloodthirsty. If more and more come... Our chances of survival will be really low. 
All right, we will prevail. We'll get over this. We have to. We're all that's left of humanity. Oh, income transmission. Chief, the survivors that we took in, they have some important info that we could use. They speak of various kinds of infected animals that they encountered, and other groups of survivors, too. But they've lost people recently. It'll take some time for them to integrate. Let me find some jobs and shelter for them. Uh, let's try to interrogate them. We have no time for that. Interrogate them now and get as much info as you can. Uh, might have been the best route to take, but, you know, just gotta get as much information as we can. <sighs> I guess that's it for now. Well, I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of uh, Infection Safe Zone, or IFZ. So, if you guys did enjoy this episode, uh, let me know how it is. And uh, if you like it, be sure to uh, hit the like button down below. Um, if you want to support me, you can hit the subscription bell. Or <laughs> I'm losing it. You can hit the subscription button down below and, you know, follow my channel so that you'll know when uh, I upload. And, well, if you actually want to know for sure when I upload, hit the notification bell. You know, that's a thing. Um, but yeah, I will probably come back to the series again in the future. And also probably anti-Stazzy, you know, on Arma 3 again. Uh, again, just want to take a bit of a break and, you know, play some other things. Get my mind off of... Uh, you know, Arma for once, sort of, and just try something new for a little bit. But so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you guys have any suggestions on places I should go, maybe sometime in the future, um, be sure to let me know down in the comments, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. So, take care, everyone, and I'll see you guys next time. But until then, bye!